The first step in the Circadia Firming Peptide Mask is to dispense two and a half teaspoons of the firming peptide powder into a mixing bowl. And then you're going to add two teaspoons of the firming peptide activator. And once these two ingredients are mixed together, you're going to want to go in with a whisk or a wooden applicator and really mix them together vigorously. We are choosing to use a whisk for this demo, but again, a wooden applicator is perfectly fine. Once these two ingredients are mixed together, you want the consistency of a thinner pancake batter. You're then going to apply this mixture to the skin. You want to make sure to use a thin layer on the full face, neck, and decollete. It's important to treat all three of these areas in order to get the results that we're looking for. This treatment is truly amazing in giving that instant gratification. Your client is going to get up off the table with an instant firmed, tightened, and lifted look. You're also going to see some of those wrinkles unfold right before your eyes. And the reason why this treatment is working is that it's a multifunctional treatment. It's designed to increase microcirculation. So as the albumin, which is one of the key ingredients in this product, dries, it actually provides a certain level of compression on the surface of the skin that increases surface blood flow into the dermal tissue. This uh, process actually delivers oxygen to the cells for the purpose of cellular respiration used by the mitochondria to produce ATP, which is basically like the universal currency of all of our cells. Now, most importantly, this oxygen is actually being carried to the fibroblast to enhance collagen, elastin, fibronectin, and laminin-5 production. So you're not only going to get that instant wow factor of a tightened, lifted, and just more even complexion, but more of that long-term benefit of stimulating collagen and elastin as well. Now, on top of that, this treatment is also going to help to return carbon dioxide and rid the skin of cellular waste and toxins in the skin as well. So you'll notice here that the mask sits on the skin for up to 30 minutes. And as it's sitting, the mask is starting to get tighter and tighter. So your clients that have um, claustrophobia, this might be contraindicated for them. Now, at that 30-minute mark, you're going to start to remove the mask. The first step there is to apply a hot towel and apply some pressure to start to crack the mask and start to dissolve it as well. Once the towel has cooled slightly, you'll remove it and then you're going to go in with a really foamy cleanser to start to dissolve the mask. Now you'll see in this demonstration video, we go through two thorough cleanses. In past experience, depending on your client's sensitivity, you might have to go in with a third cleanse just to make sure that you have removed all of the mask from the skin.